because it's a because it is a bacteria is do they keep adding more as well to like those lagoons like is there kind of like that secret science of like how much to add based on how much is getting yeah so we, we've started doing more of that here in the last couple of years um so we do what we consider kind of a rescue dose like hey we're at a point where we know we need to dredge uh, we have to get rid of some solids okay so we can come in um and and the sonar technology that we'll talk about later oh yes um, does a good job of helping us estimate the total amount of solids and then um we can come in and say well we know for every pound of product that we add we destroy five to seven hundred pounds of solids so we do an estimation of how much solids is there how much you want to get rid of and kind of back calculate and how much we want to do so that's kind of our rescue dose like hey we got to do something now okay. um, and then we've started doing over the last couple of years uh more maintenance dosing as well mm. um and so tell me what your average daily flow is tell me what your average daily loading is uh, cod and bod and then we'll calculate uh how much needs to be added then we can do that dosage on a weekly basis and we've seen really good success with that so rather than having us having to come back and do a big dose every couple of years when you're yeah. back to that point let's keep that lagoon in our, it's, it's basically a prebiotic or a probiotic for for the lagoon you know? yeah 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 so this this thing is the it, it's basically it's eating it i guess yeah yeah it's 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 hydrolysis <laughs> it's like I this mean, is it's, delicious yeah i mean back <laughs> for for uh bacteria you know waste is food right? yeah so, yeah uh the more targeted specific bacteria we can add that like to to consume the the waste, um, the better it is. So we do a really good job of, of all organic solids and, and uh, fats, oils, and greases. Um, we can break down all that stuff. Uh, oh, the fats, oils, and greases too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we, that's yeah, that's actually the kind of the low hanging fruit. Um, you right. Know, we, we can get you know lagoons that have fat caps. Uh, we've dealt with some, and, and we've got some video of some where we've had four to six feet of fat cap um and to the point where you have to dig through it with an excavator and make a hole and, and dose the product that way um but you know and, and we'll get into some case studies later i think but yeah, you know we, yeah, we had sure. one that uh, got a proposal from an engineer that they were going to have to dig a new lagoon and it was going to be three and a half million dollars to dig a new hole and yeah. we, we cleaned up their lagoon for less than a half million dollars so Actually, actually, I it's actually a good segue into one of them. Like the there was the you had one where there was the the Russellville um, lagoon, I believe yeah. it was for the bio yep. and then there's the Aquacist. What which case study was that one where they 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 realized that huge difference for the treatment? Yeah, that so one you just mentioned. Th that one I actually might might not even be on there, oh, but, the, but the Russellville okay. one works as well. Okay. Um, so they had uh, about a foot and a half of fat cap. Uh, they were just having too much loading. They were wasting, um, having to having to haul off a lot of sludge. They were having to add chemicals to, to maintain their pH in their lagoon. Um, so we came in and did a big dose in, in October. Um, and then in January, I think they started doing a maintenance dose. Um, and by May, the fat cap was completely gone, uh, and that that plant now has a no fat cap policy. So they're they're fully on board and okay and to make sure they they continue to to keep that system in operation. So they basically now with that they just have to set up like how much they dose over yep. like to maintain it. Yep. And so we, we'll monitor their flow and monitor the loading, and we can change the dose if we need to. Right. Um, so we right. try to work work as closely with them as we can. That's that's one of our our things that we really like to focus on is customer service and and really tailoring uh to to each customer uh yep. what, what their needs are um rather than just throwing out a quote uh you mm -hmm. know our lagoon is this size like you know we we need to get into the details and, and figure out really what your goals are and, and how much solids you actually have want to get rid of yeah the i, I was going to jump back to because the so there's obviously the the dry let and then so aqua and bio dredger maybe maybe touch on those a little bit as yeah. well so that the differences for those yeah those two products so so we have um bio dredger is our anaerobic blend of bacteria so okay. any any lagoon that doesn't have aeration um that that would be the target no aeration okay yep, yep so um so any yeah, and, and and that can be municipal or, or industrial or, or any of those lagoons that don't have aeration. That would be the the product. Um, and then the aqua cyst is is our aerated blend. And and again, you know, so, some of those uh, food and bev lagoons have have aeration as well. So okay. some projects will use both uh, yep. both products. Um, and then aqua cyst would normally be our product for uh, for wastewater treatment plants where we would add it in aeration basins. And then you have one that I can 
guess because it's called manure magic. I can kind of guess what <laughs> yeah. that one's used yeah. for. <laughs> yes, yeah. So that's our that's our livestock product. Uh, yeah. Everybody loves that name, manure yeah. magic. Um, so yeah, uh, and and that's a little bit of a different uh, a different approach. We're not trying to totally break down solids. Um, okay. The goal there is generally. Uh, we want to get the solids broken down enough to where they don't have solids build up, and, and that can oh, okay. in a like an, in a hog barn where it's just an eight foot deep pit. If you let it sit, and you know you will eventually have solids build up. Mm-hmm. Where if when, when you add a, a bacterial product to help break that stuff down to get it into suspension, just makes it easier to pump and 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 do land application with. Yeah, that's a great. It's a great lineup. So you're kind of like you, you've got it for each. You've, you've kind of specialized it. Yeah, yeah. For and each, and it's, each different one. It's really just a, a matter of of dosage. You know, what's yeah. what's the goal and how much do we dose? Yeah. Right. And then you get to have the cool name manure magic. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. like, oh, I wonder. Well, yeah. we know what that's yeah. for. Yeah. It's it's not <laughs> the not a magic bullet, but you know <laughs> yeah. manure magic. Yeah. yeah. 